All right, number 11 here. Um, if the correlation is zero, and that should say the linear, they're not being very clear. I get these off. Other professors made these. The linear correlation is zero. Then there is no relationship between the variables. That's actually false. And that's a trick question. What, uh, you might think, yeah, that's what you said. Well, not quite. It's a, that's why it's a trick question. Let me show you. If you have dots that are just totally, totally random, you know, they don't make a line at all, then your R, your linear correlation, is, is about zero. And, that, and you might say, well, yeah, well, that's what we're saying, Ms. Aaron. The dots, there's no relationship there. Well, um, there's something else tricky that can happen. Let me show you. That's why it's important, important question. If the dots line up like, you know, in a perfect, perfect straight line like that, then that's R is 1.0, right? And uh, let me just review real quick what R can do. And if the dots um, go down, but maybe, oops, doing the thing right. Maybe not perfectly, but generally go down like this. Right. So, and that would be a line going down. That would be maybe an R is negative 0.89 or something. That's pretty, the lines are going, you know, the dots are going down. So then we, and you say, well, yeah, R is no, this is no relationship here. No relationship and, and R zero, right? But there's one other case. Let me show it to you now. You could have the dots doing something like this. a very definite pattern, but R is still gonna be zero because why? Because there's not a linear, it's they're not linear, but they still have, but they still have a relationship, don't you? It's just not a line relationship. See, that's the trick and that's the part I want you to understand. Because in real life, they'll tell you correlation coefficient values. They have them all the time when you look at um, professional data. And you've got to be careful. Just because R is zero, that just means there's not a linear relationship. There's not a line relationship. But there might be some other kind of relationship. So here, it's, here's two cases where R is zero. In this case, there's no relationship at all. The dots are just random. No connection. There's just no connection. R is zero. But in this case, R is also zero and the dots have a very definite relationship. It's just a curved relationship, not a linear relationship. So R, remember, that's why I keep writing linear correlation coefficient because R is the linear cor cor correlation coefficient. Its job is to tell you if the dots line up or don't line up. That's all it tells you. So if it tells you no, zero, no line up, that's not the same as saying no relationship. That just means no line relationship. They might still have a relationship. So you got to be a little careful when using the data. So that was the point of that question.